Joining me now is Ari Fleischer, former White House press secretary, author of Suppression, Deception, Snobbery, and Bias, Why the Press Gets So Much Wrong, as well as Jason Chaffetz, former House Oversight Committee chair, and Sean Duffy, former Wisconsin congressman, all three Fox News contributors. Um, Mr. Duffy, I want to start with you, because obviously Wisconsin would have benefited greatly from this power plant. The evaluations were complex and incredibly thorough. Look, Democrats, Republicans looking at this whole plan for this plant. The federal government comes in, just says, no, this, this isn't working. Your reaction to this? Yeah, I mean, this is outrageous. So, number one, this is not a rich area. This is Superior, Wisconsin. It was in my old district uh, in an area for 40, 50 years. Northern Wisconsin was all blue. Northern Minnesota was all blue, all Democrat. It's now hardcore red because of crazy policies like this that come from Democrats. Laura, it gets cold in northern Wisconsin. It's, it gets to be 30 below. We need reliable, cheap energy to make sure we can heat our homes. And what's outrageous about what the EPA is doing is the fact that this, this power plant is going to help mothball coal burning power plants for this natural gas burning power plant, which means there will be less CO2 in the atmosphere and the liberals are fighting to, 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 to again mothball it, um, uh, this plan. And what, this, this is the problem in government. It, you, can, you can elect Donald Trump, you can elect George Bush, you can elect Jason Chaffetz, but unless you get rid of the federal unions, the deep state at the EPA, you can never change policy. Donald Trump couldn't get rid of the radicals in the EPA. So if any Republican is again elected to president, do what Scott Walker did in Wisconsin, eradicate the union, fire all these you know 40-year employees at the EPA, bring in fresh blood, and you won't have these problems. But as long as you keep these radicals employed, you can never change course. Listen, they'll, they'll take out existing nuclear uh, uh, mm. plants, uh, the coal plants, gas plants. They'll take out wells. They want to get rid of everything, so we're all reliant on the federal government. We can't afford food, gas, oil. And so we'll to the government to actually subsidize these costs for us, which means we're not independent. We're not free. We rely on them. It's insane. Uh, Ari, uh, this, they had jumped through all these hoops for this. And I'm using this just as an example of what they're capable of. This would have yep. reduced strain on the grid. This would have reduced carbon dioxide emissions, the way this plant is set up. It's actually brilliant. I read about it because I was just in Minnesota well, for eight days. So I, I read the whole thing. It's stunning. Well, it and then these activists it, come it in produced... and they roll right through. So, Ari, if, if a Republican gets elected, to Sean's point, there has to be a full reform of this civil service. This is craziness. Yeah, I don't object to that at all on the civil service. People thought Donald Trump, oh my God, Schedule F is the, 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 the way you do this. And people are, are having vapors. Uh, it's actually true. It is meaningful civil service reform if you get out the partisans. But a couple points here, Laura. Let's start with Joe Biden's tape that you just rolled. One, he has a real hard time putting one sentence next to another sentence. I mean, the man is getting worse. Two, he said that energy prices are going to go down. As a result of this, energy prices are going to go up because we are driving fossil fuels, which are the cheaper fuels, out of business. That's if the Democrats get their way through massive subsidies to corporations that make green energy. That always drives the price up. And, and then the final point is none of this is going to work. If you think the federal government can spend money and make us green or fix our energy issues, it is totally the wrong approach for the federal government to take. But there's a final point here. Democrats have party unity. And that's why they're going to be able to pass this, because Senator Kristen Sinema of Arizona is on board. And that is a lesson to Republicans. Party unity is important. And the Democrats figured out, at least here, how to stop arguing and get something done. Mm. Republicans could learn that lesson, too. Oh, I'll say. And Jason, um, despite everything we've laid out here, Wonder Boy Pete Buttigieg, you know, they think he's a hopeful for 2024. He's still blaming everyone but the administration. Check it out. We continue to see shockwaves disrupting every part of our economy uh, from the pandemic and from the other uh, geopolitical and economic things that are taking place. We're just keeping our heads down and doing well, the work. And look, and in my department, that means making it easier to afford EVs, other things that help protect Americans from the effects of these ups and downs in the oil markets. Jason, this is a purposeful sabotage.
Yeah, he was keeping his head down, taking a nap while I was on maternity leave. That's where he's been. <laughs> this isn't Putin's fault. This was absolutely self-inflicted pain to the American people. The, the Democrats have unified, as Ari said, and said, we're going to get rid of fossil fuels. Every bit of energy is going to yeah. increase, even if it's going to be a cleaner for the environment, like this plant in Wisconsin, which was going to save, uh, I think, uh, reduce the emissions by about a million tons over, over a significant period of time. Uh, they don't want nuclear. They don't want anything. They, I'm a all of the above energy guy. I think that's the way to do this. But this administration, they are going to do exactly what they said. Get rid of every bit of petroleum. Everybody's going to pay the price. We can't afford it. Panel, great to see all of you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.